Hi there. Welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. I'm going to be doing some intuitive sort of landscape painting today. I have a three quarter inch brush, three quarter inch flat brush. I'm going to wet maybe the top two thirds of my page. I got sort of a hill going from left to right. And um, yeah, I'm going to pick up some, some Payne's Gray here. Just make a couple of lines with some Payne's Gray. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of blue. Just hint to a little bit of blue sky. And we're just going to let that sit there for a second. Now I'm not going to clean my brush off or anything. And I'm going to take this brush and put it right into my Payne's Gray. I have a little bit of wash sitting here. And I'm just going to introduce this in a couple of spots. My page is sitting flat, so that won't it won't bleed off to very far from where it currently is. I'm going to take this flat brush, and I'm just going to make a streak like that coming down that hill. So now you sort of have that hill in the background and this hill. I'm going to take this brush. I'm not going to rinse it off. I'm not going to clean it off. I'm going to put it right into my yellow ochre and I'm just going to touch it, touch this wet line in a few places like that. And I'm just going to let that bleed for a second. I'm going to pick up a little bit more yellow ochre on this flat brush and I'm going to touch this tree line back here. And you can see how that tree line is starting to go way back like that. It looks like it's pushed further and further back and you can see how that little bit of yellow ochre in there has started to work with that Payne's gray. My sky is turning out not too bad there and we're just going to let this keep pushing that back further and further and further. Okay so I'm going to take this semi kind of wet brush and I'm going to touch it to my Payne's gray and so I have quite a bit of pigment on here I'm just going to touch this, just touch it into that wet area, all right? And we're just going to let that bleed off to wherever it is it's going to go, and we're not going to try to control it too much, okay? Just let that go. I'm going to take this same yellow oak, or sorry, uh, Payne's Gray that's on here, just touch it into that wet line there and again just let it do whatever it's going to do i'm not going to pick up any more pigment but i'm going to put this into my water just quickly and take it out and i'm just going to let it go across there like that okay that's not too bad i'm actually going to pick up my uh, little bag of salt here I'm going to drop just a couple of grains of salt across that right there while that's still very wet. And we're going to let that do its own thing. I'm not going to try to touch it or control it too much. I'm going to take my big brush again and I'm going to come back here to where this paint's gray line is across here and I'm just going to touch that with a wet brush that and that's starting to turn out pretty cool we're going to get this to go this way i'm going to come back into my uh i haven't used any um sienna yet so i'm just going to introduce a little bit of sienna across here just like that i'm going to put a little bit of sienna right here across this line and maybe just a dab there. I'm gonna take a little bit more um, yellow ochre and I'm gonna put some yellow ochre across there. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off pretty good. Uh, pick up the pigment. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more pigment and I'm just tapping the pigment onto the page. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking, I'd really like to know where my subscribers are from. So if 
you could uh, leave me a message in the comment section. Let me know where you're from. I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to take a little bit more of this salt. And I'm just going to put a couple of grains of salt across there. And that's it. I'm just going to walk away. All right. Just leave this. Walk away. Okay, so let's take our salt off there, and it's a little, you can hear it, it's a little, a little gritty. And just, uh, you know, just brush it off with your hands. Now be careful not to get any of it in your paint set. And there we go, okay, that's, uh, there's a little bit still stuck on there. May or may not come off. All right, let's see. Put them out on here. The mat does sort of magic, doesn't it? All right. That turned out not too bad. Very intuitive, very quick, easy. Uh, if you're currently a subscriber, thanks a lot. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know where you're from. Please leave me a question or a comment in the comment section. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you again next time.